Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it. Today is the culmination of all your hard work, dedication, and tenacity. Today, we celebrate you and your remarkable accomplishments. Wherever you are watching, surrounded by loved ones, physically or virtually, please stand as ROTC cadets from several high schools across the district and HISD lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, cadets. We appreciate you being with us virtually today. Class of 2020, this year has been unprecedented. As we departed for spring break in March, no one, certainly not me, imagined that we would be out for the rest of the school year. You left the hallways of your school without saying goodbye to your teachers or hugging your friends. You didn't get to dress up in your beautiful prom dress or stylish tuxedos and dance at your prom. Most importantly, you did not get a chance to walk across the stage at your high school graduation. By any measure, what you've missed is significant. And when you remember this time in your life, it will feel bittersweet. But when you think back, I also want you to remember that the class of 2020 is the class that persevered in the most daunting of circumstances. You made the best of a difficult and frankly scary situation by embracing online learning. You kept up with your studies and inspired each other to keep going despite all the challenges and uncertainty. You found new, innovative ways to stay connected and foster your bonds of friendship. You even found the time to work on your dance skills on TikTok. Oh yes, I've seen those Savage Challenge videos. Class of 2020, you never lost sight of your goals, hopes, and dreams. You've learned an important and crucial lesson early in your life, that adversity should not hold you back, but push you forward toward innovation and give you just the right motivation to help you thrive despite your circumstances. In a time marked by fear, you were fearless, and that is exactly how I will always remember you. As you go forth and prepare to leave your footprint in the world, I want you to carry that same resilience and courage with you. Don't focus on what you've lost. Focus on what you've gained, adaptability, perseverance, and strength. Anytime you face a challenge that shakes the belief in yourself, Remember what this time has taught you. You can rise above anything that seeks to weigh you down. You are the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. I know you will continue to make us all proud. Now please welcome our talented students from the Kinder High School for the Performing and Visual Arts as they perform America the Beautiful.
Good afternoon, families and friends of Eastwood Academy. I am Brandy Lira, the proud principal of our great school. Thank you all for joining us on this momentous and unprecedented occasion as we celebrate the class of 2020 graduates. I know this isn't the ideal situation for any of us, especially our graduates, but we've been through similar challenges throughout our time together, and we have come out stronger and more resilient as a result. I'm not sure if you all realize it, but the class of 2020 was my first freshman class as principal. You all hold a very special place in my heart. When we first began our journey together four years ago, no one could have ever predicted that we'd endure a devastating Category 4 hurricane with Harvey in 2017. Celebrate a World Series win for the Astros. Survive a water main break causing the entire school to go without running water and an unsuspected flood that left many students and staff stranded on campus until late in the evening. And now, a global pandemic that has caused your senior year to come to an abrupt halt. None of these major events have caused you all to slow down, however. We've maintained our spot as one of the top three high schools in the city of Houston, top seven in the state of Texas, and top 97 in the United States. Nearly 40 of you have earned OSHA 30, first aid, and CPR certification. These are the same 39 of you that put your heart, sweat, and tears into engineering capstone presentations that have yet to be displayed. For the past three years, our SkillsUSA teams have earned seven blue ribbons for computer innovation. Cyber Patriots has made it to the semifinals with an all-female team. This was the third time our Eastwood team has made it to the semifinals throughout the last four years. Girls Go Cyber Start has made it to the Nationals the last two years of competition, and the class of 2020 has so much to be proud of. You all are an unforgettable bunch. We won't soon forget Stephen Barrera's impromptu repair of a smart board and quirky dance moves, Michael Alvarado's spot-on impersonations of Eastwood teachers, Julian Perez's classroom singing when music wasn't available, Kaylin Calderon's school-wide breast cancer tribute to her mother, Shalim's perfect formula for doing just enough to maintain a GPA. Isaiah, Mercedes, Angelica, and Natalie's proposal to host a peaceful walkout for March for Our Lives. Gloria Serna's bravery to approach me with concerns on behalf of students who don't otherwise speak up. And of course, Daniel Salcedo's frequent off-kilter comments on our school Instagram account. These are only a handful of really good memories we have. Each and every one of you has had an impact on our campus, no matter how quiet or outspoken you are. We see you, and today we celebrate you. Thank you. Following the valedictorian, salutatorian, and the HISD trustee presentation of awards, we will have the presentation of the senior class of 2020. Hello class of 2020. I know we are told that the what ifs and the should haves will eat you alive, but indulge in them only this one time. What if all this time and struggle is leading you to a good chapter in your life? What if our goals are met at the end of this chapter? But what if everything we do means nothing to everyone else? What if along the way we as people become unrecognizable to our past selves? Or what if your senior year of high school gets completely altered due to a global pandemic that is changing everything around you? In life, there are a lot of what ifs that can either drag you down or build you up. For example, what if instead of falling, we dare to fly? Or what if we replace negativity with optimism? There are a lot of people in the world that will tell you how to live your life, but as long as you balance the negativity out with optimism, I truly think all of us will be okay. So live your lives the way you want to and not the way others see fit. Slowly, I've seen all of us change throughout the course of high school, but who wouldn't? All of us are slowly figuring each other out, but most importantly, we're figuring ourselves out. We still are. So continue as you please, but don't forget to thank all the good things as they come. Thank you to my friends, family, advisors, teachers, but most importantly, my loved ones. Mom, dad, thank you. My name is Nicholas Flores, and I'm the salutatorian of the class of 2020 for Eastwood Academy. This year, we celebrate all of the achievements that we students have worked very hard to accomplish through all of our lives, through blood, sweat, tears, crumpled pieces of paper, and broken pencils, we have endured many challenges in our academic careers. 
Nothing has ever stopped us from chasing our dreams or reaching our goals, until now. Everybody wants a happy ending, right? But it doesn't always roll that way. Our senior year, what was supposed to be one of the best years of our lives, was cut short very abruptly. This year was supposed to be our giant send off into the world. We were supposed to laugh with our teachers one last time, take one last final exam, and dance the night away with our closest and dearest friends. Even though the end of our senior year is not happening how we expected it to happen, we must persevere as we have been all along. The last four years of my life have been a privilege. It was a privilege to attend Eastwood Academy, to get the best education I can by the most amazing and insightful teachers, and to meet some of the greatest people I will ever meet in my entire life. I am saddened by the fact that I may never see the faces that made me smile, or hear the voices that made me laugh ever again, and I am sure that my fellow classmates share the same feeling. But you know, that's the student gig. Part of the journey is the end, no matter how hard we try to keep it going. Nothing lasts forever, but with each ending comes a new beginning. It is time for us to start a new chapter in our lives. And I'm sure each of us, no matter how gloomy this all seems, is ready to see what the future holds. We are the new innovators. We are the new leaders of this country, the unique and independent scholars of a new era. We are among the first graduates of a new decade. We are the ones who will shape the world into our own visions. We are educated, adaptable, humble, and selfless. We are the class of 2020 for Eastwood Academy. This is our year and nothing will take it from us. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sue Digard, president of the HISD Board of Education. On behalf of all nine members of the board, congratulations on your historic achievement today. No other graduating class has had to endure the hardships and overcome the obstacles that all of you have faced in your final year of high school. We are proud to honor you and we send best wishes for your future endeavors. Hello and welcome to your commencement celebration. All of us on the HISD Board of Education wish we could see you walk across that ceremonial stage and proudly receive your diploma. And I know that you wish the same. Seeing you graduate is the best thing about being a trustee. I know this semester has been nothing like what any of us would have imagined, but where there are challenges, there are also opportunities. You can set the standard for what your life will be like going forward. You learned so much this year and not just academically. You learned that you're much stronger than you thought. And you learned that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Martin Luther King Jr. said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. You will sometimes have self-doubt and you may need to ask for help as we all do. Just know that in the end, you will triumph just as you have triumphed today. We as educators could not be prouder of all that you have accomplished through such adversity. You have what it takes to continue to succeed after high school. Si se puede. Dr. Seuss said, kid, you'll move mountains. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Felicidades to the class of 2020. And now on behalf of the HISD Board of Education, it is my great pleasure to share with you the names of the recipients of the Board of Education Student Awards, a distinctive honor given annually to a male and female senior in recognition of their overall exceptional achievements in the areas of academic achievement, character, leadership and service to Eastwood Academy. And now the recipients of the 2020 Board Awards are Outstanding Young Woman, Areli Baltasar, Outstanding Young Man, Nicholas Flores. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. I know we are told that the what ifs and the should haves will eat you alive, but indulge in them only this one time. What if all this time and struggle is leading you to a good chapter in your life? What if our goals are met at the end of this chapter? But what if everything we do means nothing to everyone else? What if along the way, we as people become unrecognizable to our past selves? 
What if your senior year of high school gets completely altered due to a global pandemic that is changing everything around you? In life, there are a lot of what ifs that can either drag you down or build you up. For example, what if instead of falling, we dare to fly? Or what if we replace negativity with optimism? There are a lot of people in the world that will tell you how to live your life, but as long as you balance the negativity out with optimism, I truly think all of us will be okay. So live your lives the way you want to and not the way others see fit. Slowly, I've seen all of us change throughout the course of high school, but who wouldn't? All of us are slowly figuring each other out, but most importantly, we're figuring ourselves out. We still are. So continue as you please, but don't forget to thank all the good things as they come. Thank you to my friends, family, advisors, teachers, but most importantly, my loved ones. Mom, Dad, thank you. My name is Nicholas Flores, and I am the salutatorian of the class of 2020 for Eastwood Academy. This year, we celebrate all of the achievements that we students have worked very hard to accomplish through all of our lives. Through blood, sweat, tears, crumpled pieces of paper, and broken pencils, we have endured many challenges in our academic careers. Nothing has ever stopped us from chasing our dreams or reaching our goals, until now. Everybody wants a happy ending, right? But it doesn't always roll that way. Our senior year, what was supposed to be one of the best years of our lives, was cut short very abruptly. This year was supposed to be our giant send-off into the world. We were supposed to laugh with our teachers one last time, take one last final exam, and dance the night away with our closest and dearest friends. Even though the end of our senior year is not happening how we expected it to happen, we must persevere as we have been all along. The last four years of my life have been a privilege. It was a privilege to attend Eastwood Academy, to get the best education I can by the most amazing and insightful teachers, and to meet some of the greatest people I will ever meet in my entire life. I am saddened by the fact that I may never see the faces that made me smile, or hear the voices that made me laugh ever again, and I am sure that my fellow classmates share the same feeling. But you know, that's the student gig. Part of the journey is the end, no matter how hard we try to keep it going. Nothing lasts forever, but with each ending comes a new beginning. It is time for us to start a new chapter in our lives. And I'm sure each of us, no matter how gloomy this all seems, is ready to see what the future holds. We are the new innovators. We are the new leaders of this country the unique and independent scholars of a new era. We are among the first graduates of a new decade. We are the ones who will shape the world into our own visions. We are educated, adaptable, humble, and selfless. We are the class of 2020 for Eastwood Academy. This is our year and nothing will take it from us. Thank you. Jasmine Aranda. Nicholas Flores. Hey everybody, I just wanted to say congratulations to the rest of my fellow classmates and thank you to all the teachers who have helped us achieve so much. We're finally done. Nathan Herrera. Brianna Galvan. Samantha Cruz Baserto. Lillian Leon Nicole Amaro Annalise Rosenbaum Melissa Amaro Itzel Gregorio Alexis Lozano Catherine Marr Oligario Garcia Jonas Eberhardt Arely Botazar Marili Aguayo Michael Alvarado Chris Alvarez Viridiana Alvarez 
Nayeli Aranjo. Fernando Bahena. David Barrera. Stephen Barreri. Gerardo Benavidez. Joshua Buenteo. Kaylin Calderon. Joel Castillo. Mariana Colazzo. Marcus Constante. Alexander Corpus Estrada. Angelica Duran. Steve Escalon. Melanie Felix. Miguel Figueroa. Alexandra Flores. Patricia Flores. Porfirio Flores. Jeremiah Garcia. Debani Garza. Diego Gonzalez. Marisol Gonzalez. Jocelyn Gonzalez Uloa. Liliana Gutierrez. Mariel Gutierrez. Carlos Guzman. Cesar Hernandez. Jonathan Hernandez. Lucinda Hernandez. Renee Hernandez. Miranda Lara. Natividad Leal. Montserrat Ledesma. Fatima Lopez. Kevin Lopez. Rosa Lopez. Victor Loza. Shalim Lozano. Alan Luna. Angela Luna. John Marquez. Giovanni Marquez. Kila Mata. Natalie Medina. Jennifer Mendez. Delisha Mendoza. Bertoldo Moreno. Zahid Munoz. Melissa Myers. Jocelyn Navarrete. 
Yasmin Pacheco. Teodoro Padron. Antonio Perez. Kayla Perez. David Quinones. Isaiah Reyna. Lillian Rivera. Jose Robledo. Monica Rodriguez. Natalie Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez. Emily Romero Lopez. Danielle Salas. Ivan Salazar. Sandy Santos. Daniel Saucedo. Gloria Serna. Asiya Sheikh. Aurora Sierra. Angelica Cifuentes. John V. Sinta. Mercedes Sotelo. Daniela Soto. Victoria Thomas. I'd like to thank my family and friends, along with all my teachers that helped me get through the years. Thank you. Jacqueline Torres Silva. Azucena Trejo. Josias Valdez. Isaac Valentin. Gabriela Varela. Rosa Vargas. Jonathan Vega. Bianca Villarreal. Matthew Zepeda. I thank you all for joining us today for our first ever virtual graduation ceremony. The class of 2020 is already setting a precedent for the world. It is now up to each of you in our graduating class to make your mark. Go off and do great things. Make a positive name for yourself and the families you represent. Remember to come back to your community and to Eastwood to share your story with those that are just now beginning their high school journeys. We wish you all well, but also know that we're always here ready to help when you need it. Thank you to our industry partners, Vopac Deer Park and Mr. Dwayne Campbell for their generosity in providing OSHA 30 and first aid CPR certification and training to 39 seniors and for your generous sponsorship of our engineering program over the last several years. Thank you to Samir Paul, Jimmy Collins, and all of our friends of Eastwood at Silver Sand and Woodlands Financial, who have generously supported our pathways in extracurricular projects over the last three years. Thank you also to our cyber industry partners and the Federal Reserve Bank, the Houston Cyber Task Force, and Blue Lance for making learning come to life with cyber programs on campus and instructional demonstrations. And now I will confer your diplomas. By the power vested in me, 
by the State of Texas and the Board of Education of the Houston Independent School District, and upon the recommendation of the administration and faculties, I confer on you the high school diploma with all rights and privileges thereunto, appertaining on this 14th day of June, 2020. Have a good evening, boxers, and congratulations.